Hello everybody, welcome back to Jeff's Computer Service on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to convert your physical machine into a virtual machine. So let's go ahead and get started with this. We're going to be using a third party program that's called Starwind B2B Converter. Now this program is a free, it's a free program and it's from Starwind Hyperconvergence. The phone name is B2B Converter slash P2B Migrator. This program, uh, to download it, you will need to make an account. It's going to ask you for that. Once that's done, you'll receive an email sent to your uh, to your email address. And once that's done, you're supposed to receive a download link with the software. Once you have that, you can actually migrate. It will let you make different virtual formats for your computer. In this case, you can have VMware, which is this one, Hyper, Hyper B, which, which are these ones. And you so have Camu, which is Key, Key Cal 2. Or you can also have image slash raw format. If for whatever reason you're actually looking to do this and want to use it on Hyper B, you can also use if the options already here, but this is additional. You can use uh, Microsoft's this to BHD software. This is this one is actually more uh, simple, but it only has one file format, which would be BHD or BHDX. So either way, uh, let's go ahead and get started with the exercise. So I have it here already open. So in your case. He's just going to click on P2B, compare physical machine or this, click on next. In this selection, you're going to pick physical this. Click on next. Just keep that a few seconds to load. Okay, now you're going to select this that you want to convert. I have here a few, these are external ones, and this is a external additional one, but the Windows is installed on this drive. And I wanna pick all of these volumes, which are all related to the same drive, up the C drive. Now I'll just click next. And now here, the destination, you can save it if you have a server, you can use VMware Essex, or you have a Hyper-B server. You can also save it there. Even if you have uh, Microsoft Azure or Amazon Web Services, you can also save it in those areas. But in my case, we're going to be saving it on the physical machine. So you just click local file and next. And now here we pick the format. VMware format, Hyper-B format, KMU format, or image slash raw. You can actually use these for, in my case, I can use these uh, formats for Promax. That's a hypervisor. It's also an open source hypervisor. It's really useful if you haven't tried before. You see some of my videos related to that. So from here on, in my case, I'm going to be using VMware format for this example. So I'm just going to click on Next. And for my preference, I'm I want to leave it as a gravel image. So if whatever reason, you can use this and not get not have like an image that's only uh, has like a fixed size. It also gives you a warning here that this, this space for this image is allocated on demand. So this image size grows over time. And it gives you a small warning. Warning, this format is not compatible with, with E6 BMDX format. So, so you are aware of that. So let's just click on next. And from here, we just basically just click convert and it's gonna start doing it. But in my case, I'm not gonna start it because I have already done it here. I have it already open here. Here it is already. This, depending on how big your drive is, this one was 422 gigs. So this took me at least an hour and a half and it says there 357. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel this, but once you hit convert and save it where you want to save it, in my case, I save it here. 
in an NF drive, an external drive that I have set up in this folder. And it's going to appear right here. So this, I'm going to close this out. And now, every time you close it out, you're always going to be pop up with this page from start when. And now we're going to open up VMware Workstation Pro. Put this in full screen. You're going to create a new virtual machine. I'm going to click on Typical, Next. We will pick, I will install the operating system later, Next. And from here, my computer is Windows 11, but when you pick Windows 11, it's going to ask you for encryption. And I'm pretty sure my computer is now encrypted. So to bypass this issue, just click Windows 10 so you don't get the encryption message. Now from here, just click on Next. Now from here, let's give it a name. Windows 11. Actually, let's keep it more short. Win 11 VM. Next. Now here, this doesn't matter because this is going to be changed either way. I always like to keep it as a single file, but this virtual drive that we're making here for this uh, virtual machine is going to be deleted because the one that we actually want is this one. Click on Next. Now, this is finished. Now let's wait for it to load up right here. And here it is. We're not going to start it yet because there's nothing in it right now. See, here's the hard drive that was made. Now this, we're going to delete it. It did virtual machine settings. Now from here, we're going to remove this drive. Remove. And we're going to add a new one. Add a hard drive. Click next. Leave it like that. Recommend it. Next. From here, we're going to choose use an existing virtual drive. Click next. Now let's browse for it. This one is for me. Open up. There it is. Finish. Now we can convert this. So let me just convert it for, for this for this purpose. There it is. Now we just click OK. Now we're going to power it on. Now while we wait for this to load up, it should physically bring us to the virtual machine that we already made, which would be my physical machine. Yes. Okay, there we go. It's loading up. Since this is the first time, it might take a little while. So I'm just fast forward this. Okay, there we go. I think it's finally done. Okay, and there we have it. That is basically my computer. Go ahead and click on it. That's fine. I'll sign in with the password. Okay, guys, and there we have it. We have officially converted the physical machine into a virtual machine. Just give it a few seconds to load because I actually do have a lot of stuff here. So that's why it's taking a little longer to load here, even though it's a virtual machine. Okay, and there we have it. We have the official machine in virtual. It exactly the same. Well, obviously the, the scale is a little different, but it's basically the same machine. 
100%. Well, guys, that's basically the video. If any of you have any issues on how to set it up or think it's not working properly, please leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as, as possible as I can. As always, guys, I thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you again. Have a good one.